Oh man, it's a little fresh in here. What's up everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm here with my wife, Lisette Trujillo. We're in our studio. You wanna see? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna do it right here? Yeah, we can, no? Yeah. I'm here with my wife. We're gonna do a little live together, a little live session. Because we haven't done Cafecito Thursday in a long time. Yeah, we haven't done Cafecito Thursday, so we want to we wanna chill with you guys here. So you just got done making a live. <laughs> yeah, I just got done making a live. Which is your morning hammer time. Yeah. But I wanted to just tell everyone that, well, first say sorry, we haven't been doing our Cafecito Thursdays. In a long time and um, in a few months actually mm -hmm. we've learned a lot in the last few months I think the last update you guys got from us we had moved to the warehouse we had all these big dreams and we're still working towards them um, but we've also learned a lot of things that will definitely help you guys and that we're willing to share with you guys yeah. as cafecito Tuesday and Thursday happen yeah. so um, connect with us Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon for cafecito for Cafecito Thursday and Cafecito Tuesday. Are we going to call it Cafecito Tuesday? Yeah. We should call it like, like, Bay, Bay, Bay and Bay. My hair's like wild. Um, we should call it Cafecito with the Trujillos. Trujillo Cafecito. I like that. I don't know. I like it. Why I don't like you guys it. tell us what we should name it? That might be fun. Yeah. Um, the Tuesdays. What, what, what should we name Tuesday? Well, wouldn't they need to be the same name? I hang think it'd in, be cool. I think hanging it'd be cool. with Team Trujillo. What? Yeah, hanging. Yeah, what? Coffee with Team Trujillo. Chicka, chicka. What? Chicka, chicka. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Well, that's all? What to tell them? I just I just told them. I, 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 was, I was talking. Hi, Teresa. I was talking to them earlier right now. And I was telling them, look, I've experienced a lot of fear and this and that. And, and I was just trying to tell them that I'm a real dude, you know? Yeah. And I was telling them, look, uh, I woke up to the fact that... It was like waking up from like a really weird, hazy yeah. dream. The only thing, the only thing that, that, that gets you out of whatever, it's not thinking. You got to do more. Right. You're not doing enough. Right. And, and that's what I woke up to, to because I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? And, and all these fears and all these things. And, and you know what? I just realized nothing's happening. Nothing bad is happening. I'm only, I've only gotten in, in my own way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've only gotten in my own way for not doing enough. All you got to do, if you're listening to this, okay, if you're listening to this, all you really have to do is pick up activity. That's all. Pick up activity and you will get out of your own way. Yeah. Actually, the, the universe, I believe the universe is going to start helping me. Yeah. It's, already, it's already helping me, but it's going to start helping me even more the more I pick up my activity. Yeah, we just got out of alignment. Yeah. Both of us. Yeah. Really bad. That's what, yeah, that's what it was. That's what it was. You, you get in your own way when, you don't, when, when you're not. See, you're not doing enough. You're not believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. that's really what it is yeah. when you're doing a lot you start believing in yourself you're like oh my god did I do that I sold another painting for you know a couple thousand bucks oh my god did I trigger that oh my god did that happen it was because of me so you, your, your self belief goes up high Yeah. you stop doing or you do less so you stop triggering things yeah. and then your self belief is like oh man I can't do anything right. it's so funny it's, 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 I mean it's not funny it, it, it wasn't funny it's not funny it's not funny I think I cried yeah, it's not funny, <laughs> More but, than it's, once. but but it's the reality. It's the reality. It comes down to self belief, and and the only reason why you don't believe in yourself is because you're not doing enough, guys. If I could just fucking get into someone's head, well, whoever's going is, through this. The thing is, is that doing creates opportunity. Yes. And people, we don't look at it that way. We just think of the doing and not the opportunity. As in finishing things, finishing and, tasks um, or whatever. Or being busy or all these other things. And honestly, when you're not doing, you're still just as tired, if not more. You're more and tired. And busy, if not more, than if you were actually creating the opportunity and being awarded. You're letting things pile up. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And you can't figure it out. Mm -mm. You can't. You can't figure it out with this. The mind is just like, nope, it's awful. It's horrible. End of the road for you, mister. Yeah, you cannot figure it out with this. You got to figure it out with this. And you're okay. just like, how? How did I get here? Yeah. And you're only getting it in your own way. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And I, and I did share with them. But now what we're sharing right now is, look, we're going to be doing 
uh, Tuesdays to Thursdays together. Yeah, because you know, and the reason for this is that, sorry you guys, I have allergies and my, with allergies comes to cheaters. Um, what I was trying to tell, what you and I were talking about recently is that sometimes we don't even touch on all the things that we actually do and our, our background experience and things that we, remember we talked about this? Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah. I come from a retail background. Yeah, like uh, a retail experience. And I, we utilize my retail background and yeah. my degree a lot in our business. Yeah. Um, we utilize a lot of sales concepts and ideas. You come, you come from like marketing background too and selling background mm -hmm. and um, and what you experience selling for small for a smaller company here. For but two but but, but yeah, and, but the 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 background that you have, I mean, that alone. I don't know if I, I've, I've told you this uh, before uh, in front of other people. Anyways, uh, your retail experience. Right. It's it's fucking monumental to what it's done to our business. The retail experience alone. Right. Because you can be an artist, but if you don't have the retail aspect of it, if you don't have that, you're going to be... It, it's not that it's going to be difficult. It's, it really depends on what you're going to do. But it Sometimes becomes very difficult. Sometimes you can't difficult. separate the art and the creativity into right. selling. Right. And so, and so really that's... And, but you were better about selling... At, at other, in other elements than I am. Like with marketing, you have very strong. Right. But when it comes to building out our our, our store or selling in a store right. platform, right. in an e-commerce platform. That's you. That's where I, I've i utilized a lot of that there. Right. And I think we forget to share that with people because we talk a lot about working in a partnership. That was what Thursday Cafecito was. And we were talking about growing our business and Thursday Cafecito. I think Tuesday should be stuff. business, business with Tuesday, Trujillos. But Tuesday, we're going to talk more about like how you utilize sales concepts when you are selling on Etsy or when you're selling because it's the same. It's the same but different. You're not in a brick and mortar, you're not in a gallery, but you still have to look at it as selling product and creating opportunity. Right. So even though you're selling a, something that's a creative extension of yourself, you have to utilize parts of e-commerce to make sure that you're getting the word out there and that you're getting views to your items so that you can sell them. That's right. And so I think that, um, and also too, uh, reminding yourself to simplify how you're doing stuff because creative people sometimes complicate yeah. things. Yeah. Um, and so to simplify the sales process so that you're, and also to creating customer service that's not face to face. So right. when you aren't face to face to somebody, what are aspects of customer service that you need to maximize on to ensure that you're creating a long-term client? Right. So those are things that we're going to talk about with you guys that we don't always talk about or actually have never talked about. We never talked about those because things before. Because we were focused on working <coughs> on partnership. We thought that were, that was maybe things that people cared more about seeing well, we'll than actually... Thursday. Yeah, we'll leave that for Thursday. So anyways, we just wanted to tell you guys we're back from our... We're back. We're back. <laughs> and, um... Yeah. Yeah. Tune in. Tune in. Tuesdays Tune in. and Thursdays at noon, okay? Okay. And thank you guys for being patient and for supporting us and for being the beautiful people of Instagram that you all are. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Will you save intention? I sure will.